What do you think, man? This is crazy, dude. It's, it's one thing to see this stuff on videos and another to see it in person. person. Just, just getting started. So this is just the warm up, huh? What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Climb Headquarters. Today is the Climb Backcountry Team Ride. If you know what that is, you know we've got some of the best snow racers and backcountry riders on the planet in one place at one time. If you don't know what that is, buckle your seatbelt because it's going to be crazy today. So stoked to be back up here in Wyoming, getting to ride with the Climb Back Country team. Incredible snow, it's been a super winter pretty much everywhere. We still have winter conditions until almost the end of March here, so cannot wait to get back out there with all these guys and see what kind of fun we can have. What can we expect today? Shenanigans. I am the snow biker on the team. It's gonna be a good day, we're all gonna send it. I'm like the, the sole Arty Cat rider today. I feel like I've uh, been practicing my tree riding quite a bit, so I'm ready to keep up with these boys. Me and Julianne, we drove down together from Canada. Uh, we haven't been here, I believe, since 2018 for a team ride all together, so we're pretty excited to get out today. Tell you what, you um, five bucks, somebody can go up that ramp. <laughs> all right. Todd's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> That's top prize in the world and pushing each other and like just trying to have fun and, and uh, do some crazy stuff. I love that we all feed off each other, ride hard, lots of smiles, lots of high fives, and more. the most important part, getting Keith Curtis stuff. Someone said you were going to get stuck earlier. What do you think? Ride? Who would have said I, I'm going to get stuck today? I just want to get us in to a precarious situation, really technical, I try to get Chris stuck. That's always a good day. Uh, we have some of the best snowmobiling in the world and it's a great opportunity to get out and test our product and that's one thing that, that we're going to do today in between the people with Incline and our riders, our athletes, um, we get a lot of feedback and take a lot of information in and, and the end result of all of that is building great product and product that our customers can buy and they can trust. I think we're right in the landing zone. If you're not going big, you gotta go small, medium. <laughs> Neil is on a different level in the air than the rest of everybody. Oh, he's down. You rolling? Yep. It's one thing to see this stuff in videos and be like, whoa, that's crazy. But when you stand under it and you get a real 3D scalar perspective, incredible. And these dudes just make the sled look effortless. Like, it's floating, it's fine, it's in control, and these things weigh like 500 pounds, you guys know. It's incredible. Stoked. I love watching it, because I can't do it for sure. ABC. Always be snacking. Bobby, 
and I are going to do a little mini mini Dan, what are we witnessing out here? Turbo snow. There's no place to stop. that you're gonna have Keith Curtis and Chris Brandt tipped over off their sleds in the same frame. So that's golden footage. You're like full 180. <laughs> Good snow, lots of features. Good times, good crowd, good people, man. Yes, yes, land where I'm standing now, so I see the landing. You want to yump it? Kinda. Shoot for the sky, you aim high and blow it. Never take no for an answer, keep going, just breathe. Just, just breathe. Breathe. Woo! Let's take this thing higher. Higher than you ever been. Stand tall like Everest. I mean, higher. <laughs> I thought about hitting this jump um, before watching that. I don't think I'm gonna hit this jump. To the top, even when the ball drops, my man, we go higher. It's time to go higher. Let's take this thing higher. And they did a full bow tie and stayed on, and then Mason jumped off and walked over. Oh, that's oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> So what do we got going on right now? Well, we have a snow bike up in a tree. Uh, all of us Boost boys are out of gas. And we had like the most kick butt day you could ever imagine. It was, I want to do it again. We are at Dan Adams' shop here at Next Level Clinics in Alpine, Wyoming. Dan Adams, you guys know him, he's been in the industry for a long time teaching clinics. He started out as a pro snowboarder, basically working with Travis Rice back in the day, and now he's just transitioned full time into snowmobiling for a long time now. Uh, so he's going to kind of help us find those cool features, find us some cool terrain to improve our riding skills a little bit, and get Emil into some awesome stuff that he can get big and blow our minds, basically. So, going to be a good day. So, day two of the KDT promises to be awesome. We've got Emil with us, and I'm just telling you, he's easily one of the most inspiring riders that I've ever been around. And what's cool about riders like that is that they inspire me to kind of kick it into high gear and, you know what I mean, find that other level. Side hill and actually bow tie where the marines are. He didn't make it past the tree <laughs> on that one. Tree 
got in the way. Yeah, I just looked at it. And I hit it. Nice part job, Emil. <laughs> Those trees are stiff. Had a few little shenanigans. Had to pull the saw out already, and here at next level, that's what we consider a stuck is when a tree does have to come down. Otherwise, you're just temporarily not moving. Action! <laughs> got a race to the top and Dan said quote you're not gonna make it because <laughs> it gets really steep up there so <laughs> we'll see what happens someone's down what are you seeing Julianne's down Gabby's in a straight up wheelie stuck and Emil did a bow tie of everybody. <laughs> I don't have Is that gonna help or hurt? Uh, it reduces aerodynamics, so it's gonna hurt. Let me, see, let me see if I can tuck it in. Oh boy. <laughs> standard, standard activities here. Tear up this hillside, go somewhere else, do it again, have fun. Let's do it. zones and the snow is holding up it's getting a little bit warmer but the shenanigans is like 150 percent this is so good scoping scoping cvc's now you, you hit that thing at about 80 dude and it's gonna send it yeah <laughs> Nice work, Amazing day, fantastic. Me in the train, the snow, the people. We got stuck a lot. Yeah. 
but it was fun. And it was nice to, to have a smaller group actually today just because it kind of gave us all a bit more of a chance to get on the hills and play a bit more, so it was awesome. It was so much fun. I needed that. It filled my soul. I'm headed back to Canada now tomorrow morning with Gabby and uh, my, yeah, I'm topped up. Thanks, Climb. This was the best. We're all great friends. We all want to see each other succeed. We all want to lift each other and become the best team that we can. Riding the best sleds and wearing the best gear.